Welcome to Arduino lesson number 15. This is Minsoo Kim. Today we're going to be making a theremin out of our Arduinos. Our material list is the Arduino, a buzzer, wires, and ultrasonic sensor. For the wires, please make sure to note that you choose the wires that have one female side and one male side, as it will be used on the ultrasonic sensor. First, we have to connect the four uh, pins coming out of our ultrasonic. If you look carefully, right above the pins, it will be labeled PC VCC, GND, Echo, and Trig. The VCC, please plug into the 5 volt ground into ground, Echo into digital pin number 4, Trig into digital number 5. Pause the video until you have finished before moving on. Next, we're going to be plugging in our buzzer directly onto the Arduino. We're going to be plugging one leg, the negative leg into ground, and the positive leg into digital pin number 11. This drawing says 10, but uh, please put it in 11. Next, your finished Arduino should look like this, and we are ready to begin our programming. Now let's take a closer look at the sketch for your Arduino Thurman. First of all, you define a few variables and constants that you will need later on in your sketch. The constants trigger and echo defining, defines the pins that you have placed your corresponding pins onto it from the ultrasonic sensor. The constant buzzer is the pin you have plugged in the second leg of your buzzer. And next is our four variables which is distance, distance high, length of scale, and note. The distance is the current distance of your hand to the sensor. The distance high is the maximum distance of your hand as defined by its calibration. Length of scale is the number of notes in the scale that you are currently using for your thermon. Initially, this is the A minor pentatonic scale, but you could use any other scale with any other number of notes later. And lastly is note, the note that your thermon has detected and will play next. Now that we have done this, we are going to move on to our writing out our scales. In our case, we're using the A minor pentatonic scale, and we're going to define this in an array. So here is our A minor pentatonic array. Now you might want to pause this video right now to give yourself time to write this down. Now let's look at our void setup function. First, you have to define the functionality of the two pins of the ultrasonic sensor, which you have defined as constants in the sketch above. The pin trigger gives the sensor the command to emit an ultrasonic wave, therefore it's an output. At pin echo, the sign returns by your hand arrives again, therefore it's an input. In our following while loop, the calibration takes place. For the first 5 seconds, your ultrasonic sensor repeatedly sends out ultrasonic waves and receives it again after it has been reflected by your hand. Your Arduino measures the time elapsed between sending and receiving. Let's take a closer look at this. In the condition of the while loop, you will find the function millis. It measures the time since the start or reset of your Arduino. The loop is executed until 5 seconds or 5000 milliseconds have passed. In the loop itself, you first set a trigger to high with the function digital write and send an ultrasonic wave. Immediately after that, you turn the trigger off again with low. With the function pulse in, you measure the time in microseconds that the wave needs to reach. With the function pulse in, you measure the time in milliseconds that the wave needs to reach the sensor again, and so the pin echo to high. This time span is stored in the variable distance. Now comes the important part. You don't just want to measure the distance to your hand for 5 seconds, but you want to define the maximum distance, thus your playing area. For this purpose, you have defined a variable distance high at the beginning of the sketch, in which this maximum distance is stored within calibration. If your Arduino detects in the loop that your hand is further away from the sensor than the last measurement, it sets the variable distance high to the new maximum distance. 
In your sketch, the default scale is an A minor pentatonic with 21 notes. But you could also add more tones if you want, or even another scale with a few single notes, or all the tones in the world. So that you don't have to write the length of your scales and their lowest and highest notes manually in your sketch, your Arduino does it for you with this equation. Here, another type of loop comes into play, the for loop. It goes through the array with your scale entry by entry and counts the variable length of scale, how many entries it finds there by increasing the variable by one with each check. Unfortunately, in C++ programming language, this is only possible with a trick. First, you calculate the length of the array in bytes with the function size of, and then divide it by the length of the first element in the array. In case you're wondering about the zero in the brackets, your sketch does not start counting at one in an array, but at zero. So it finds the first element with the index zero. In the preset A minor pentatonic scale, the loop finds a total of 21 notes and stores this number in the variable. In the next step of the sketch, this number is used right away. Now we go into our loop section. In the meantime, we have arrived at the loop function in your sketch. Here, you use the first function, map, to determine the notes that your theremin should play. To execute the function map, you need five parameters. Number one is our distance, uh, the distance from your hand to the ultrasonic sensor. 250, which we have defined as the smallest possible distance from the sensor. This is in the range of 250, which is why we simply define it as the fixed here. Next is the distance high, the maximum distance of your hand as you defined in the calibration at the beginning. And then scale 0, which is the lowest node in your scale. This is the first entry in your array that you could read with the index 0. Lastly, it's scale length of scale minus 1. And this is the highest note in the scale. The default A minor pentatonic scale has 21 notes. And since you're starting at 0, you have to subtract 1 at the end to read the last note. Now the function does the following. It takes the current distance and the variable distance, which according to parameters is in the range from 250 to the maximum distance of your hand. Then it maps this range to your scale, which in turn extends from the first entry in the array scale to the last entry, scale length of scale minus 1. This way, it maps the current distance of your hand to a frequency, and thus to an approximately one note in the scale. Now, in order to strike the last note, this is going to be our last part of the sketch, we're going to have to write this out. Let's take a closer look at the code. First, in the condition of the for loop, you specify that it should only, if necessary, go through all the notes of the scale. Then follow two statements that search for a matching correct note here and play it as soon as it's found. The first if statement is for quote unquote professional players. If your hand and the note found by the function map matches exactly one of the notes in the scale, your buzzer will get the command with the function tone to play this note immediately and end the loop with break. However, the next statement helps if you have messed up a little and was a bit off. The following else statement works like this. If the note found by the map function is in between two notes of the array, the buzzer will play the lower of the two. The statement will probably come up in most cases unless you hit the right notes. And that's it. I hope you enjoy your Arduino Thurman.